Excellence to me is the difference between success and really, really taking that extra step. So I think excellence means achieving a goal that you set for yourself, staying on target for that goal, and then meeting what you set out to do and excel in that. You're working your hardest. You're, you're trying to be the best person you can be, you know, with the circumstances that you have. For me is being who I was called to be, um, is, is being a role model, is being a counselor, is being um, just the, the positive influence that kids need in the community. I think excellence is just kind of like being like all around like a great person, like the honesty, the being transparent. For me it's just about being good at, at whatever it is that you're good at and owning that and knowing it. Well, I, I guess I'm not really your typical college student that comes out of high school. Um, this, will, this is my second AA degree, so um, back years ago, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I did get an AA degree um, in general studies and um, just wasn't sure where I wanted to go with my life. But in the middle of college, you know, life happened, husband, children, you know, mom, that, so family life took over and um, education got pushed aside. So I've been in the beer industry uh, since 2013. Um, prior to that, I had a very heavy uh, background in building homes, remodeling homes with my father. And prior to that, I was in the military. My junior year in high school, I kind of um, went through a traumatic experience. A friend of mine, um, unfortunately, drowned during our spring break and so I was you know a witness to that and stuff and so my senior year I um, I didn't really know how to like cope with it at 17 and so I actually ended up dropping out of high school. I come from a background of aviation and had a relatively successful career in that however it was an enabling a uh, long-term problem of addiction. I've faced a lot of life challenges when I was younger and I knew that I wanted to make a big difference in the world and you know decided to become a police officer and so I decided to pursue my career in criminal justice. As the kids got older I started really thinking about what should I do and I wound up um, getting a job as a special ed teaching assistant for the local school system and after a few years there I, I wound up you know, thinking about what do I want to do? What do I, where do I want to go from here? I tried to get my GED through Blue Ridge back in 2012, um, which was supposed to be my graduating year, but I was working and so it was difficult to come and do the pretests and all the things that you needed to do for the GED at that time. I've never really had quite an idea of what I wanted to do, you know, for the rest of my life. So in 2015, I really started to research uh, metal fabrication and welding um, particularly with how it referenced the beer industry because I was exposed to a lot of uh, sanitary vessels and piping and so it really piqued my interest. I was working at a preschool and I just really wanted to further my education. A friend of mine had enrolled in a online program that she had heard about from the public school that she was in so I looked into it and I said okay well let me give this a try and I mean it was um, it was difficult because throughout that time um, in 2019 I actually lost my dad to suicide so that kind of set me back a little bit to just trying to like work through all those emotions because I didn't have the best relationship with my dad so I dealt with a lot of guilt and resentment when he you know when he passed away but um, through his death is actually kind of what motivated me. I decided that I was going to make major changes and that involved going back to school as well as of course getting sober. After graduating, like a couple months after that, I decided to get into basic law enforcement training and that's when I graduated in 2019 for the basic law enforcement training. I decided to use my GI Bill and pursue a degree in welding. I was tired of being an assistant teacher and I just was ready to teach so that's what sparked me coming here. I really want to help people um, who can't help themselves, um, who aren't sure how to go about getting the resources that they need. So I finished in 2020 and I enrolled in the spring of 2021 here at Blue Ridge Community College. For me, Blue Ridge Community College, it was an open door and um, I really feel like they cared about me 
um, get my education. There's something special about the instructors here where there's a camaraderie and I find that the instructors put in more effort than I've ever experienced uh, in the past. It's kind of like a family. I know that sounds really strange because, you know, I don't know, but I feel like, you know, all of the professors and more specifically like my advisor, my degree advisor, um, really, you know, care about me and the other students and, and that shows in how they interact with you and how they treat you and the time that's put in. I've had one instructor for the past year and a half and um, we've gotten to know each other pretty well. <laughs> She's wonderful. She will answer questions for me all the time and I feel bad asking a lot of questions. I, I'm a very much an overthinker, so I overthink a lot of things and so um, there's a running joke between us, you know, we, she, she knows to expect my email when there's an assignment. Um, so, but she has been wonderful and um, she will answer me even 10, 11 o'clock at night at holidays. I've had an incredibly high workload all the way through and it has been something that has challenged me uh, approaching a certain level of burnout and recognizing that has also been a thing that my instructors have done and I think that's impressive. And one of the things that really struck me was their connection with the community um, and the you know business and service partners around the area. They were so in tune with their needs. The staff, they're just so friendly. Um, you actually like feel like a part of the community. I think that there's something almost ironic that I've seen more uh, people here with a PhD or advanced degrees than I did when I went through a four-year institution. So the facilities here and the staff here I think are barn on some of the best that I've ever experienced because I've always gotten the feeling from everybody that they're here to help you succeed. They're not just gonna let you kind of fall to the wayside unless you're just not putting in you know, your effort. They have amazing staff, and I think that once you have a, a staff that has an opening ear, and for you to be successful, your goals will be met. There are people here, like there's like a, a success leader, she like uh, contacts you every week just to like check in, kind of like a counselor, like, how are you doing? I know every college has a library, but our librarians are really helpful. Being able to just say, you know what, I'm gonna stay at home and watch this class on Zoom or participate in this class on Zoom because these classrooms are so set up with the technology to be able to do so that it's just as immersive or almost as immersive. Uh, that is one of the things that I was floored about, and I think that it has allowed me to maintain that high workload with a certain level of self-care. I really wouldn't have made it through without like my math teacher with the extra help and like the like Miss Gant at the Success Center. Um, they're just they're here to help you. Experiencing Blue Ridge through all of COVID has been one thing that has impressed me with just the cleanliness of the facilities. I never walk in and think, okay, when is the last time this classroom has been sanitized? Am I safe here? Anything like that. I always feel completely safe with it. It's always friendly, it's always warm, and like, you just, like you feel safe. It's hard to fail, essentially, because they, they set you up with all these things you need. And I've made friends too, like I've made unexpected friends that I, you know, wouldn't have met before taking those classes. I met several people. Um, I still, I'm still in contact with them today, but we are able to, we became work buddies. <laughs> uh, we studied together and um, it was a support system. The Veterans Club was kind of a new thing that we were starting up. That community, like within the community of itself of the college was, was really neat because there's, there's these smaller communities within the college that kind of tailor towards individual people and their mindsets and, and what it is that they're doing. PRISM is around for the LGBTQIA plus community, their allies and everybody is a support group. I come in as non-traditional. I'm 37 years old and there is a very big difference between me and somebody that is going to be here and thinking about coming out of the closet at 18 years old as a, a freshman in school. My SGA family that I didn't really know any of them before this experience, um, you know, none of us actually have class together. but hey, can you, you know, peer review my paper because I like to get, you know, another perspective outside of my class. I think it helped me realize that even though, like, I am older, right, in these classes with younger people, like, 
that doesn't mean that I can't be their friend and that doesn't mean that I couldn't learn anything from them. I have connected with maybe two of the students that we talk on a, maybe a weekly basis um, about our assignments, you know, and if we have a problem, I'll text so-and-so and I'll say, hey, can you help me with this? I'm not sure if I understand this assignment. If it wasn't for the smaller classes and being able to see their faces and to um, be with the same people for semester after semester, I don't know if I would have the confidence to reach out to some of these people. There's very much a core group of students that have been going through the Human Services program. Uh, and we have become quite close. There are some text group chats if somebody's having an issue with homework assignments or we all reach out to each other and help each other out as necessary. If somebody is going to be missing class, they know that they're going to get the notes from somebody else. The other kind of community that I really latched onto was just the students and the staff for the technology of of welding itself you know there were so many facets of it that I really didn't understand the more and more you know I kind of communicated with these with these people and kind of networked with them the more I started to learn so it's fostered a, a good bit of friendships and encouragement and helping me step outside of my comfort zone so I remember a time when I was in basic law enforcement training and there were some challenges that I had and I, I didn't think that I was going to make it through and I uh, talked with one of the, uh, the staff and they encouraged me to keep going. I was reminded by having that conversation what I needed to do, what I was called to do. And now I'm able to impact the kids in the community. I'm able to help them and um, to be a resource for, for those in the community because of that conversation. When I applied for Student Government Association, like I, I just checked off like anything that I might, you know, anything, whatever is available, you know, I'm not picky. And so when they get when they, they reached out and said, hey, we want to offer you the president's position, I was like, wait, what? You know, so it took one person to believe in me and it has really changed my life. Because before I don't know that I'd be able to sit and talk to you right now. Then I had to get up in front of the board of trustees and so. This is probably one of the biggest accomplishments I think that I'll probably ever have. Honestly, you know. It's something I, I never it's something I never thought it would happen. It's made me grow as a person, and I'm just very appreciative for the opportunity that um, Blue Ridge has given me. I definitely want to thank um, the entire faculty and staff here at Blue Ridge um, from the, you know, um, the initial contact of like, here's the classes that you could register for, all the way to, you know, your instructors and advisors and financial aid and the registrar's office. I would like to say uh, thank you to all the instructors. Um, I think sometimes you're exposed to so many students over the course of a semester or multiple semesters that you might lose track of whose lives you're affecting and how much you're affecting them. And I just want to personally say thank you for you know your effect that you've had on me both you know, personally and professionally. I'm someone's daughter, and at Blue Ridge Community College, I, they felt, I felt like I was their daughter, you know, and they took care of me, and I was successful. If I didn't jump in and stay as busy as I am, continue working a program of sobriety, um, work on top of it, and just load up my own schedule, knowing how type A I am, I probably wouldn't be here and sitting sober. So I can thank Blue Ridge for a lot of that and a lot of the people that are here. I'm very thankful for the opportunities that they've given me, everybody. Every time I complete my, my classes for the semester, and I'm like, wow, okay, I did it. Okay, I'm one step closer, I'm one semester closer. Um, that's excellence for me. And if I can save one person from ultimately taking their own life, um, for me that would be, you know, that would be excellence for me. Like I feel like I would have succeeded in my purpose, my purpose in life. There was this one quote I've read that like teachers are kind of like moms, <laughs> kind of, and they, and they really are. They're just, they're a really great support system. And I don't think that with our teachers and without their perseverance <laughs> and their kindness. I don't think that we would, I don't think students really would amount to anything because we are essentially a product of our environment. <laughs> and so as much as, as much as our teachers put into us is, is, is like their outcome, you know, it's like what they get to see. And 
So I just hope that <laughs> hope that we we prove them well. <laughs>